So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at a bit of a strange JavaScript array method, and it's not one that I've commonly used before, but it is the array.copy within method, which allows you to copy a portion of an array within itself. So we've got a simple array and we can call the copy within method on it. And the copy within method does take three arguments, but let's focus on the first one to start off with. So if we wanted to copy a sequence or a portion of the array within itself, then we can simply specify how much of that sequence we want to actually copy. So for example, if we wanted the first three items copied in the array, so one, two, and three, we simply pass in three as the first argument. And you can see in the output on the right hand side that the values of one, two, and three have been copied into the final positions of the array and replacing four, five, and six. So as I mentioned, this is a bit of a strange method because I can't think of a good example of when you might want to use this. But if you do have a need to copy a sequence of values, maybe to repeat them throughout the array, uh, then you can use this method to actually update the array. And as this method is mutable, you can see that the array is actually modified. Uh, so this will actually change the contents of your array. So explaining the other two arguments is a little bit tricky, especially with such a small array of values. But essentially, the second argument is the uh, start position of the sequence. And the last argument is the end position of the sequence. So if we change this to a zero uh, for the first item, so we're only going to be copying the value at position zero and then pass in one as the first argument. You can see it starts the sequence at position one, which is the second item in the zero indexed array and replaces that at position zero. So if we then add in the third argument and pass in a value of two, we're actually going to copy that number two value into the second position in the array as well. And you'll notice how all the values shift down in the array uh, to keep everything in sequence. But as I mentioned, if you had a larger array, these start and end values might make a bit more sense. Uh, but just so that you know that the copy within method allows you to take a portion of the array and then repeat it uh, just once, overwriting the values in a different position. And that first argument is the length of the sequence that we're going to be copying. So you go, that's the copy within method in JavaScript. Give it a go in your console and see if you can think of a use for it. But that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.